Well, so far we've talked about action blocks. That's what they call all of these green blocks down here. And for the most part, these are the only things that your robot can do. It can turn on and control motors. It can do things on its display. It can do things with sound and it can make lights flash. That's it. So to do more interesting things, we need to have flow control. And that's what the orange uh, block is about. We've talked a little bit about the weight. We'll get back to that in a little bit. But right now we're going to talk about loops. Because loops are what uh, you'll find in almost every um, program that's very complicated. And loops uh, will cause the AV3 to do whatever is inside the loop over and over and over again until whatever condition we define here happens. So let's go back to our action blocks and we'll put some, uh, some sound in there. And maybe the first one will have it say, um, oh, morning. Morning. And the next one, let's have it say, goodbye. goodbye. So if we were to run this program over and over again, we'll go ahead and download it and do that. It'll, it'll say that over and over and over again forever because that's what we told this loop to do. But we can click on this tab and you can see that you can exit the loop in a lot of different ways. You could exit it in time. So it would do it for, in this case, five seconds. You could do it in count. You could tell it to do it, um, you know, six times and so on. So as we start talking about sensors, you'll notice that there's a lot of different sensors that could also end the loop, but we're not really to that point yet. What I'd like you to do for this next exercise is to make a loop and have your robot go in a square. It's got to be a pretty good square, not, not a, um, you know, a pentagon or something. We want an actual square. So you'll be using your um, move steering blocks and your loop block to go around and around and around. 